Good day everyone, and today I wanted to go ahead and give you the overview of pretty much what I thought of Last Man Standing. The game itself is extremely fun, it has a lot of potential, it has its good and its bad things, and that's what I want to talk about. So straight going into the game, you start as a level 3, everything is going to be 1. You're going to talk to Lisa, Lisa will tell you if you want to do competitive or casual gameplay. If you were in the real game, you know, you would put money in the quicker, and from there, you know, it's going to be 100k every game. If you do casual, as of now, there's no, you know, there's no payment. Um, also pretty cool here, uh, as I started with all the other players, you know, right when the beta went up, I saw a lot of, you know, famous players, I saw Bodhi, I saw a friend, I think Skillsfax, uh, just, a, you know, the, the main guys in the uh, RuneScape community. So, pretty much what I, want, what I was, you know, getting at is, the game can, can, can be a lot, it, it can be a lot, and it's going to be really fun, especially when they roll it out, as they say, at the end of the month. It's going to be probably a very competitive game. I think it'll be more successful than Dead Man Wong, but they still have to do a lot of fixing and tweaking things that are going to, you know, improve the game. As you see here, as, right going into the game, you have to go out, you have to just run and try to find any chest that is going to give you certain items. So, as of now, pretty much all the chests have, you know, their own type of items, you know, that are going to be beneficial maybe or not. Uh, a lot of times I found myself getting a dragon chain, a ruined scimitar, but I couldn't have any food. Or sometimes I found myself with a lot of food, but just no uh, weapon itself, or no, no good armor. And a lot of the things here that are going on is people are teaming up. You know, as you're going to see, there's really nothing that you can really do against it. it you know, you, by the end of the, uh, of the game, you know, there's five, four players left, and it's just teaming, and then they got to kind of go uh, towards the end, which is fine. I mean, it's, it's, it's to be expected. Once you find a certain spot, and then once, you know, it's already been looted or something's been looted, and you didn't get a chance to get anything, you're for sure going to be one of the uh, first ones to die. The problem I see with the game is if you don't get good gear in the beginning, you pretty much know you're not going to make it far. If you can get good gear in the beginning, you have a huge chance, you have things that are going on, and it's just it's just better for you. So that's that's one of the things I would say, try to maybe even out, you know, make it fair for both. Just so, you know, once everybody spawns, or just make it random, or make everybody spawn randomly, as it's just a race as soon as it starts. Um, that was, I mean, the main point that I see. Uh, another one is they should honestly, you know, randomize either player names or just change up names. And not just the names, but I think the appearance as well. Because, you know, if you're on voice chat or uh, team speak or anything where you can talk to somebody else, you can pretty much say, look, I'm wearing this. And you can still team up. So I don't think just a name change is going to be enough. Uh, but that as well. The random spawns, and not just for player spawns, they should be random spawns for everybody. All the types of you know, the crates, everything in general should be a random spawn because that will help out the game a lot as well and it will give it a little bit more life. One of the things I saw a lot of people complaining about is the gear that you do get from the chest as well it wasn't what they were expecting. They were maybe expecting, uh, I, there is a whip, there is a chest with a whip, it's all the way south. Uh, not many people know about it as well, but there is a chest with a whip. But people were hoping to have, honestly, just better items, maybe some barrels, or just maybe the god sword, something different, because this is a different type of gameplay, and just to see it with the dragon chain body and ruin skin guitar really was kind of just out of their, their, I guess, their idea. But one of the good things as well is they do have a, a certain care package that does start to come out once the fog itself out once this fog starts uh, kind of coming out and it will uh, usually drop at a random place as well the safe spot that everyone has to go to uh, randomly changes uh, I've had the mountain and I've had the castle and I really think it's 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 random and it's well done 
so that's a really good uh, plus but uh, as well you're gonna see here on the gameplay that I stand outside the mountain I stand outside the castle for a good time and the reason for that is I'm trying to time to see how long it takes the fog to reach and it really takes a long time if these games are trying to be a little bit quicker you know depending how fast they move in each game it takes a while you know once the fog starts I honestly never saw the fog and I did last every once in a while to a pretty you know the last five the last six the last three so you, you don't really see the fog that much I think they should maybe make it a little bit quicker make it a little bit more the, that was one of the main points I, I wanted to point out as well and maybe add a, a, a kill reward uh, you know, so incentive because that way there's no too much team. Like I would pass by people and nobody would attack me. I wouldn't attack people because we're just trying to survive. It's I understand it's a survival game, but it's also a, 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 a game to fight. You know, there was really not what people were expecting. People were expecting to see you know last man standing, barraging, you know, whip, uh, ruin cross, but just these huge fights. And it, it it really turns out to be very newbie. And the survivors, they should just go to single. It will decrease the the camping at the uh, safe zone. You know, it, it'll change everything around. So I think maybe after like six or seven, uh, you know, those are the survivors left. Boom, everything is single combat. There's no way to get team that if if you end up going to the safe spot, that way you can you know avoid the fog and things like that. Uh, a lot of times, other people were also expecting to have either a bigger map size um, or which is a really good point was have familiar destinations uh, I don't know how the code for this would work or how they're gonna do it or even if they can um, but it was suggested a lot so pretty much is people want to do it in Fally you know appear in a random place in Fally or a random place in Barak uh, certain things where they can remember now these maps are good too. have these maps but just randomize everything make everything just even more random to kind of have everything out there you know make everything just boom, pop out that you can't really expect what's coming all the rewards get changed because a lot of people were on also running towards a certain reward that they knew that was there uh, and that kind of you know destroys the purpose because everybody goes to the same place just put everything random so in conclusion the game is a very fun game it, it, it's still gonna have to get worked on just like Dead Memon did even after the first season and things like that they still had to keep making updates and they're still gonna have to make more updates to try to you know make it funner and funner so it doesn't just end up being dead uh, uh, w one of the problems that did arise is you know because of the beta there was only 2,000 players that got accepted and now because most people I'm guessing would live in certain time zones it, the beta is dead at certain points of the day uh, at my time right now at 10 p.m. Eastern there's honestly 40 players on at the most and one game going on maybe two if any uh, at the end of the day if, if it gets done with newbies things I don't believe people are gonna want to play the game I don't think people are gonna want to really get into the game that much so you know <sighs> I would say look at the feedback and hopefully fix a, a couple of the things. The game is fun. It is interesting. It, it is a good way to mix RuneScape with other types of game styles. And if it gets done with the correct work and with the correct things, it'll be an amazing game. But as you know, there still has to be work. So I, I would say the game is right now is maybe a 6 out of 10. At the end of the month, when it comes out, hopefully it'll be a little bit better. But I think so far, so far the game is is fun enough to play and to just spend a little bit of time. How the tournament worlds were, your you know your account really doesn't do anything to your account. You don't train anything from here, uh, so it is a lot of XP waste. So it kind of depends what type of person you are. But other than that, you know, if you in, you know if you enjoyed this, uh, please leave a like and a comment uh, with any feedback at all. I, I do read it just to kind of make sure and see what I can do to improve and if there's any content you want to see honestly just write it leave it down and I will try my best to get that done for you guys uh, thank you so much and have a great day